welcome back to my channel. I'm Amber Nicole, and this week we are going to be making Christmas treats. Last time I got super stressed out because I did like a million things and I'm not a baker or a decorator or a treat decorator whatsoever. So I got really stressed out. So I'm only doing three things this time. I saw online and I feel look really easy, okay? So we're gonna see if they really are easy or if they're a headache like you know, the ones I made last time. But the ones I made last time were good. They just didn't look all that cute, but they were really good. So the three treats we're gonna be making today are like a Christmas swirl cupcake type thing, Christmas Rice Krispie treats, and I'm gonna use these cookie cutters to make like shapes and whatever. And then I wanted to try and make one of my favorite cookies that I used to eat during the holidays with my family. They are called bizcochos. And oh my god, I freaking love these cookies so much. I don't know how to make tamales, I don't know how to make menudo, I don't know how to make all that goodness. But I saw this video online on how to make bizcochos and I was like, I think that looks pretty easy and I feel like I can do it. So we're going to try to make it because it's Christmas and you can't have Christmas without cookies and we're going to try to make bizcochos. So wish me luck because I don't know how they're going to turn out. Let's get this show on the road. First, we're gonna make our Christmas swirl cupcakes. For this, you will need a piping bag, a stick or a knife, red and green food coloring, and a piping tip. Isn't this so cute? It says, that's what she said. Ha. Get your piping bag, and then cut the tip off. And then, you're gonna put your little piping thing, oops. Put your little piping thing in the bag, okay? You made your little bag. Now, you need your food coloring. And what the girl did is she took the food coloring, put on a little stick, and just like ran it on like the side. like a little strip of it. To be honest, I don't remember how much she put. So we're just going to put this much. Let's put a little bit more. Why not? Okay, now for our green. Oh god. Whatever. Okay, so I got my food coloring in there. Let's see? Now, to put my frosting in it. So I already made the buttercream, and it's delicious. Got the buttercream in my bag. Piping, so dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh or the fields we perf. How cute! Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Look how cute they came out. How adorable. I'm gonna call them Grinch cupcakes because they kind of look like Grinch colors, like that kind of like lime green type of thing. But they're so cute and I love them. There's that. On to our next treat. We are going to make Rice Krispie treats. I went ahead and bought the special edition Christmas Rice Krispie treats because it's only fitting. Like, <laughs> does anybody understand how much I love this friggin' holiday? Like, I don't think anybody gets it. I had to wash the bowl because I need more big mixing bowls. But anyway, for Rice Krispie treats, if you don't know how to make them, if you get a giant bag of marshmallows, the recipe is on the back. So, so for this, you need marshmallows, obviously Rice Krispie cereal, preferably the Christmas edition, and butter. 
three tablespoons to be exact. So we have our melted butter. So I got our marshmallow mix. While this is still kind of like soft, I'm gonna spray that. And then I'm gonna pour all this Okay, that <laughs> either looks like a snowman or <laughs> a light bulb or maybe something else. Maybe I won't do the snowman. Maybe I'll do like a few. <laughs> that does not look right. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> no! Is it good? <laughs> Is it good? Do you like it? <laughs> I thought you didn't like it. Our next treat is going to be attempting to make bizcochos. First of all, Hispanics don't use measuring cups. So all the videos that I've watched, literally none of them are using measuring cups. They're all using like actual cups or like legit spoons. So it's like, oh my God. So we're gonna see how that goes. So hopefully they are not the worst. So you're going to need shortening. Flour, cornstarch, salt, and sugar, which is in my handy dandy little bag. Okay, it says that we need 18 ounces of shortening. Hands are clean, I promise. I'm just gonna assume that that is 18 ounces. Okay. 
So Eric judged me because we were watching the videos on how to make these. And every video, they're just mixing, hey, they're just mixing it with their hand. Eric freaked out and was like, what the hell are they doing? But every single video, they're doing it with their hand. And I'm like, he's like, that's disgusting. And I was like, you're so dramatic. Four tablespoons. <laughs> what are you doing? We need four tablespoons of cinnamon. All right. I don't understand. Like, they were on the same rack, but that side got darker than this side. about these videos is that there's a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> Pretty good. If I just say so myself. I'm tired. It's already dark outside. I lost my natural lighting so my lighting kind of sucks right now. 
but thanks so much guys for watching this video if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified every time i upload a video i'll see you guys next week bye